What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and behind me is the Legends Ultimate Collection. Now over here on this far end is the Legends Ultimate Mini. You can connect a gaming PC to it, but you can only play a single player game on it. Unless you connect an Xbox One controller. Over here is the first version, the Legends Ultimate. You cannot change out these control decks, but you can connect a gaming PC to it and play a two player PC game. But the Controls are limited because you only got six buttons per player and you can't swap out the control decks. That's why they made the Legends Ultimate version two where you can actually change out the control decks. You can connect a gaming PC to it and play either a two player game or a four player game using the quad play. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between using the Legends Gamer and the Legends Quad Play. Now up here I have an Alienware Alpha I believe this is the R2 version. It pretty much runs all the Steam games I like and I have installed at 60 frames per second, 1080p, no problem. I have my USB to USB cable connected on the left USB port to the PC. And then right here is my PC HDMI cable and I plug it into the HDMI port right here so I'm able to view it on the Legends Ultimate screen right here and then go down to OTG mode and select that and if it says USB connected then you're good to go next step is to change it to the HDMI connection and of course it's updating right now but meantime let's go ahead and I'll show you the Legends Gamer so as you see right here the Legends Gamer it has eight buttons on player one and eight buttons on player two, which is fantastic for playing Steam games. So this is really aimed for Steam games. You get A, B, X, and Y, just like an Xbox One controller, right trigger, left trigger, RB, and LB. You got the rewind button for the retro games, player one start and player two start, and a menu button right here, which brings it back to your Steam menu. Right here we have our mouse control but it's really the trackball and it does come with the trackball which is great well of course player two you also have eight buttons the legends gamer and the quad play does come with a built-in battery pack and it has bluetooth connection so if you want you can actually connect this to a tv and play on your tv wirelessly what i like about the gamer pro it comes with pinball buttons so as you can see you got the pinball flipper button and the nudge button or you can swap them out in settings now the legends gamer and the legends quad play both come with so it comes with this console so you can connect this to your tv and play retro games there is games already built into here we have it booted up into steam this is big picture mode and so you hit the b button right here and when you want to go to settings you want to go to controller and then so now we have controller panel these are my settings just to give you a heads up enabled steam input for xbox controllers i select that on and then right here enable steam input for generic controllers i have that on xbox extended feature i have that installed right here you want to go to begin test and hit a to select you can test out your buttons all right so we're going to do setup device inputs and now we're going to configure the buttons. A is A, and it's all labeled right here, so it's easy to configure. And then B is B, X is X, Y is Y, and then right here we're going to hit A to skip, 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 skip. And now the joystick, hit left, right, up, down, and then skip, 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 and then now LB right here and then left trigger right here and it's RB and it says RB and it's RT and RT and then this button will be I believe this will be the rewind button and then this button will be player one button and then the menu button or Xbox button will be right here that games button and then you could do skip so let's go ahead and try it out so it looks like all the buttons are configured properly. And so now we're gonna hit B. I'll hold B to get back. 
And let's go ahead and test out a game. So it looks like it's working. Now, if it doesn't work, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you. You hit the menu button right here in the middle. And then arcade games, select your game, and then go to the right. Go to controller settings and go to the right again. And then select controller settings, hit A. And then you go down to edit layout, select that. And go to the left. And you can select D-pad right here. And I chose joystick. And so now if your player wasn't working before, now it should work. All right, and then hit B, B, and B to get back. There we go. Cool. Let's go ahead and play. Um, this is actually one of my favorite games right here, tape to tape. It's a hockey game. So A is passing. If you press A and hold down X, that's a one timer. And then if you want to do your power up, if he has a little icon above his head, that's a power up. And if you hit Y, that is using your power up. So that power up is basically injuring the other player. You shoot the puck at the other player and knocks him down and takes him out for a little while. If you want to switch players, you press A to switch players. And if you want to check, you basically press B to bash him. Just remember, B is bash. That's the one timer. We're going to check out Hyperball. It's a bowling game, which is perfect for the Legends Gamer, which includes the trackball. And of course, you could play it also on the quad play if you install the trackball or transfer the trackball from your old control deck to the quad play. This is what I remember when I was playing it way back in 2004. Yeah. And you could steer the ball. Kids are going to love that. I wish I could open up the you know screen a little bit more. So Tokyo and San Francisco is expert. Let's try uh, high seas. It's another expert one. Well, this one's on a rocking boat, a ship. Let's try it though. Oh, there's a hole right there. I gotta watch out for that. Oh, there's a little bump. A Pinball FX3 works great on the Legends Gamer, but not the Legends Quad Play because it doesn't have pinball buttons. And so let's go ahead and choose a game. Single player and hot seat. They can hit the start button right here, and then you can go into settings or options. Options. And then you can change the controls to whatever it fits your needs Video by hitting interface. this button right here. Controls. You can cycle. Interface. Controls. And this is my setup right here. So as you can see, there's very little delay. And it works really well. Now if you guys are interested in playing a three-player co-op game, whether it's on your Legends Ultimate cabinet or on Steam connected to your Legends Ultimate, you can use the At Games controller and it's wireless and it has a rechargeable battery built in and it has all the same buttons as an Xbox One controller. And so basically you want to go to add Bluetooth device right here, select that, select Bluetooth and it, right now it's searching. So you want to go ahead and turn it on by holding the button down and then press at games and X at the same time until it starts flashing. And now it's in Bluetooth mode. And then you wanna scroll down and look for Legends Gamepad. Select that and tap on that. It's connecting and there's a solid light. Oh, there we go. It says, do you wanna pair this device? Hit allow. So right now, oh, right here. It says connected, Legends Gamepad. And then the Legends Ultimate is connected using the USB port right there. 
All right, so it looks like this might be the controller. All right, let's go ahead and begin test. And hit A, B, Y, X. The joystick is working. All the buttons seem to work. I don't even have to configure this thing. So now we're gonna go ahead and swap out this control deck for the quad play. And then you can slide it out right here. And then right here, you simply unplug the power and then unplug the USB cable and the ribbon cable right here. Just pinch and pull. The Legends Quad Play is wider than the Legends Gamer, but it also fits on the second version of the Legends Ultimate and the Legends Ultimate 4K edition. Now, unlike the Legends Gamer, the Legends Quad Play does not come with a trackball and it does not come with pinball buttons on the side, but it does come with player three, which is on the left side with four buttons and player four, which comes with also four buttons and your offset on the right side. Player one and player two are in the middle. As you can see, they have six buttons each, but the outside players have four buttons. So you are limited to some of the functionality if you're playing a four player Steam game. This is the Legends Quad Play. It has the same connections as the Legends Gamer, power, USB, and then you have your control bus. And then this slot matches up with the cabinet, just like that. And you wanna do it on both sides. The control bus, USB, and the power. If the button is pressed down, this should be automatically booting up. Just slide it back on to place. There we go. And then just screw it in right here and here. We have to wiggle it to get it lined up perfectly. I'm going to choose. Here, I'm going to choose Michelangelo, and over here, Raphael, and then over here, Donatello. So it looks like this guy is working, this guy is moving, this guy is moving, and this guy is moving. And let's see, this guy is jumping, and this is attack. So on Player three and four, I'm limited to some buttons. If you do swap out the control decks, you might have to go into the Steam settings and change the controller settings. Now my go-to control panel is probably the Legends Gamer. I think that that's the best value one. It gives you the most features and it's also the most compatible with Steam games. So hopefully this video helps you out decide which control panel is best for you. If you know anyone that has a Legends Ultimate that might find this video useful, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them. If you guys are interested in the Legends Gamer or the Legends Quad Play or the Legends Ultimate, check out the links in the video description below. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.